Okay guys, this is part of the Minister for Men's Behaviour Change series. In Victoria they brought out a Minister for Men's Behaviour Change and we're not sure why they haven't brought out a Minister for Women's Behaviour Change. It's suggesting something negative for men, isn't it? Uh, anyway, let's see what's going on today, guys. An upstate New York district attorney refused to stop for police when she was caught speeding and instead drove back to her house. Monroe County District Attorney Sandra Dorley gave police a hard time over her speeding infraction. Okay. Okay, guys. So she, this woman's pushing around the fact that she's ADA, etc. And that gives her license to break the law. Well, this policeman's got news for her. I was going 55 coming home from work. 55 and a 35. I don't really care. Okay. So you can okay, so she goes, I don't really care. The law doesn't apply to me. This is... A manifestation of what's going on underneath many many women today entitled sure they've made their way into a position in the community that is of high regard but it doesn't take them away from the fact that they are still subject to the law but a lot of these people unfortunately think they are and this is a district attorney. Can you come? Can you please come over here? You're on. A, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes, it is. You can call Dennis Kohlmeyer right now. Okay. I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't actually. I was on the phone. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to be so on the phone while you're driving either. Please yes, ignorant. Free, absolutely. Okay. And she's allowed to be. Why are you so upset at me? I'm doing my job. Yeah, you you just admitted that. to me that you were going 55 and a 35 on Phillips Road. To leave me alone. It's. Officer Chris Foley. Can you stay over here, ma'am? No, this is a traffic I'm not this is a, this over is a here. legal traffic stop. Do you have your ID? No, it's in my purse. Here. You have your purse right there? No, this is my lunch. Would you talk to your talk to Dennis? This is ridiculous. Just go away. Hello, sir. Good. Ma'am, can you please stay at the back? Can this is a le ma'am, this is a legal traffic stop. Can you please stay you over think here? She's above the law. No. Hey baby, could you move out of here? Sir. I stopped her for going fifty five and a thirty five on Phillips Road. On Phillips Road. And Come she failed to stop. She drove all the way back home. And parked in her garage. And now she's not she's not complying with any of my commands. Ma'am, do not go inside. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Alright. Ma'am, come outside. You can't just go inside. This is a traffic stop. Here's can't your phone back. I understand the law better than you. Would you Nine five three. Oh Can goodness. you have a supervisor come to the scene? No. Get out of my fucking house. Seriously. I don't know why I don't know why you're acting like this towards me. Because Can you please go to the back of the vehicle? I'm not going to. I'm home. I was going I was okay. 55. I don't care if you got home. You were supposed to, to stop at Phillips Road when I pulled you over. I when my know. lights were initiated. I didn't know you were stopping me. There was lots of other people on the road. I was right behind you. This yeah. lady's trying yeah. to use her authority to stand over. I was directly behind you. I'm not dealing with you. Kudos to this little to this police officer. What is the reason you're you're so against what I'm doing? I'm doing my job. You say you're a DA. I am the DA. Okay. Okay. Let me get you my. I am the I DA. Am the DA in well, she's not I acting like it. just don't understand the hostility towards me. I'm doing my job. No, Good on you, mate. How am I being an asshole? I am the VDA in Monroe County. I understand yes. that, well, that, but that doesn't give you the right to go 55 and a 35. Yeah, good on you, You even mate. admitted to me that you went 50. I, I understand really that, ma'am. I, don't really I understand care. that. I don't, you know what? If you give me a time, so what example is it? Guy, hang on, guys. Okay? Just go ahead and guys, what example is this woman setting for women that need to have her as an example she's abusing the law she's taking no opportunity to show respect to this police officer that lists, risks his life serving the community she's supposed to be a representative of integrity and things that matter in this world and she's doing none of that she's playing showing complete disregard Hostility, rebellion, denial, standover, rejection of the law. I just don't understand the hostility. I, I understand no, you're coming home from work. Making, and half the time I was on the phone with Dennis telling him, why are you pulling me over? You're not even supposed to be on the phone to begin with. You oh, should yes. know that. Oh, 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 oh. I'm hands-free? Absolutely. Okay. You should know the law. Okay. If it is hands-free, that's great. But at the end of the day, you're going to... She's quite psychotic. Guys, this woman is quite psychotic. She is a district attorney opposing the law that she's supposed to serve and not keeping it.
35 and a 35. That's 20 okay. miles over the speed limit. Okay, you know what? That's fine. You know what I've been dealing with all day? Three murders in the city. And do you think I really care if I was going 20 miles over the speed limit? Okay, I'm just doing my I job. If you, pulled, if you pulled over... Okay, so what she really is, guys, is unhinged. She's unhinged. She thinks she's got a right because she's dealing with some horrible crimes within the community that have taken lives that she's got a right to go out and break the law. That makes her no different to the murderers that she's trying to deal with. I know there are different levels of crime, but it's still... Um, all she had to do was say, radio, blah, 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 and dealt with it, but she's not going to. This is no different to your run-of-the-mill person that behaves like a... Um, she's not an upstand... Doesn't, she is not presenting herself as an upstanding member of the community. For when you saw my lights, which obviously you did. I thought you were going somewhere else because I thought no one would ever pull a, a black SUV if you ran my plates. I didn't I run had... your plate. I just called your plate out. And then I'm following you because you're not stopping. So I had to take the air from dispatch. Just please. 953, you can have the air back, by the way. Just come outside over here. No, I'm not going outside. Okay. See, they hide in their caves when they're in trouble. Well, I'm having a supervisor come because that's what my chief told me to do. Now she'll start to be get. She she hasn't gotten away. She do you have your driver's license? I just showed you fire. my driver's license. You show me your you show me your badge. Thank you, Got to take me head off to the Fourteen year old having a seizure. Two hundred East River Road, apartment two hundred on the third floor. Because I was going fifty-five up to the third floor. And I was she's part of the, She's a DA. Yep, I know. And I was just trying to pull into my driveway. I was okay. on the phone with Dennis Colmeyer saying, would you please tell the person who's following me that I'm, said, just, just, I'm almost ma home? Ma'am, I understand you were going home, but I started my lights back at Phillips Road. I'm on Phillips Road, I guess yeah. you did, and there are other cars. I was right behind you, directly behind you. At, at the end, go, go ahead, like, listen, you, you wanna, at the end of the day... Go ahead, if you want to write me a traffic ticket, that's fine. Okay, at the end of the day... At the end of the day, I was stopping you for speed. If you I've just stopped... I've had a really bad day. I've been dealing with... And I get it. And I get it. We have bad days also, man. Sorry, sorry. We have bad days also. I'm gonna just add it to the job real quick. You can just go and actually add it. You don't have to use the air. At the end of the day, I was just making a traffic stop, doing my job, what I was supposed to do. Okay. You should be congratulating the Supervisor's on his way, and then we'll go from there. She's encouraging people to break the law. I understand you had it. Like I get it. I, we all have I'm bad days just, at work. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the house. Seriously, this is ridiculous. No, this is a traffic stop, and, I, and you, Please out of everyone, should know that if there's a legal traffic stop, which I have, I have the right to detain you until this is done. Then just write me the fucking ticket. I really don't care. Okay. Well, then just hang out at the back of the car. Because I'm the one that's gonna prosecute myself. I, you know what I'll do with the ticket? <laughs> oh okay. wow! Just come out here for me. Man, and just she's been really there. able. I'm not, I'm not She's being humiliated now and humiliating herself. Corey, you just want to stand up here. Yeah, as long as it's added to the job. Sarge on his way. Because she said 4 Okay. I was sitting in Facebook. He turned around. I didn't know if it was me. I wasn't sure because there were other cars going back and forth. Then I got to turn into the field press. I'm like, I'm just going to Still trying to talk a way out of it. Before I turned, when I turned in and said, you know, it's me that they're stopping, just telling it's me. So I don't know. That's me. That's me. Okay. Nine four two. You know what? There are other cars in Fulton. Nine four two. I'm just going to pull in. This woman really thinks she's above the law. You're supposed to pull off to the side of the road if somebody with their emergency lights is coming behind you, anyways. Yeah, I just. Corey, it's fine. Just we're having supervisors come, and then we'll go from there. Oh come on. This is what my chief wants. That's at the end of the day, you called him. I spoke to him on your phone, and this is what yeah, he wants. I'm again. She's going to try and weasel her way out. These two other policemen don't know. When policewoman, not sure what this guy got us into. Drawing a lot of attention to herself. She's going 55 and 35 on Phillips. She didn't stop at all. She decided to drive home, called the chief, and this is where we're at. She's met him multiple times to me. The vehicle. He's probably she feeling the gravity of what he's doing here. Pulled into her garage, got out, was just being aggressive towards me for no reason. I was being respectful. 
telling her this is legal traffic stop, come to the back of the vehicle, no. So she called chief, then that's why I requested a supervisor. Okay. And now she was wanted to go inside, told her no, you can't go inside, and this is where we're at. So Good on them. They got a standoff. They're probably thinking he's going to lose his job. Over this. I think it's an open line on a cell phone with people that were yelling to one another uh, at the tennis court area. Yeah, so he got out of the vehicle, everything. So. Just trying to fast forward it, guys, get to the point of it. Yeah, I get that she came home. I mean, obviously, if I was just trying to, sense, yeah, I that. like, she came home, she failed to stop. I mean, it's a restable offense. I'm not trying to arrest the DA of the county, but also I want, I don't want to not do my job in. Not yeah, at least right worried now. about his job. So, no, I think, I get it. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna. I'll at least write her the freaking going 55 and a 20. Okay. At the end of the day, I got discretion whether or not. No, I get it. I understand. So. Hello. All right, ma'am. So I'm issuing you speed in zone, 55 and a 35. I'll take care of it since I'll be prosecuting myself. Okay. At the end of the day, if you see my lights and sirens behind you, and obviously they're going off, just pull over. We can have a conversation and be on our way. I kept my eye on your vehicle. I'm not going to check my computer to see what plate it is if a vehicle is not stopping for me. I want to keep my eyes on that vehicle for my safety so I make it home at the end of the day. Okay? I, 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 I'm sorry that you had a bad day, and I'm sorry it went this way, but I do respect what you do. Have a good day, man. They've even blotted that out because she's probably. She had the peer, what's your bargain? She may have been threatening to force that guy to leave his job, lose his job. Okay, guys, so I've dug, dug a dip, bit deeper. Um, this is what I got for you. This is a breaking update just coming into our newsroom. The Monroe County District Attorney Sandra Dorley releases a new statement this morning following calls from elected officials to investigate her after body camera video of a traffic incident involving her was released. This video we're showing you now features Dorley arguing with a Webster police officer after she refused to pull over for him and his partner. Leaders say that she berated this officer, used her DA position with privilege and entitlement. Dorley had previously already admitted she did not pull over and she had been speeding. She further said that she called the Webster chief of police while arguing with the officers at her house. Well, in this new statement, she issues an apology to that officer and describes her next steps. And it was wrong for me to take it out on an officer who was simply doing his job. While I previously apologized to him, I will say it again. I'm sorry. Police already have a tough job, and that day I made this officer's job harder. To the community, I owe you full transparency. Well, Dorley adds she will be referring... You know what? She, um, she's been humbled really humbled she made a complete clown of herself thinking she was going to stand over the policeman you got to give credit to the guy this case to a district attorney outside of the county for further review and self-reported to the grievance committee she also says that she will fully cooperate with any pending investigation for that full statement uh, the video is available on rochesterfirst.com and stay tuned with news 8 for further coverage well we might find that video just give me a minute Okay, guys, I found this. If one of my assistant district attorneys had acted this way, I would have disciplined them. So I'm disciplining myself. I will take ethics training to remind myself that professionalism matters. I've been humbled by my own stupidity, and I'm fully to blame. I will make this right. I ask for your forgiveness. Yes, it is. You can call Dennis Kilmeyer right now. Okay, I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop. I haven't got good sound. Officer Chris Foley. Can you stay over here, ma'am? No, this is a traffic. We've this seen all that. We've we'll jumped that. Okay, so we got a bit of a we got a bit of a um, insight into that. Okay, so this woman's position's got her into more trouble than it's worth. Watch this, guys. Yes, uh, she has directed the Commission on Prosecutorial Conduct to investigate. You will be its first investigation, and it's my understanding that you initially did not support even the existence of this commission. So, how do you sort of balance that in your mind about uh, a statewide investigation by an agency that's fairly novice at this? 
and, you know, and just to be clear, I served four time as the president of the District Attorneys Association, and that was one of the the issues that we were talking about whether or not there should be a commission on prosecutorial conduct. You know, there's also a grievance committee. I'm agreeing to self-report to the grievance committee. I I welcome any investigation. I will cooperate, and you know, handle whatever punishment is well, handed down to me because guys, I am. She's trying to save a job sorry. now. There's a lot of people who have bad days, and, and a, a, they're still expected to pull over when the cops are behind them with their lights and sirens on. Abs- absolutely, I have absolutely no excuse for what I did. Um, if I like, as I said, if I could go back, I would do it totally different. I know that my stress is not an excuse, but it was there. But again, everyone has stress, and. and so she's trying to save her job now, man. This has gotten, this has escalated pretty badly for this woman. And I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't tell you enough how sorry I am and how much I regret what I did, how embarrassed I am, how mortified I am. It's not me, Jen. For people who say she's only apologizing because she got caught on that body camera. Yep. What do you say? I say yes, guys. What do you say, guys? Do you think that's the, I, I do. I think she's trying to save a job. She was a complete horrible standover woman she told that guy to get out i respect law enforcement for what i did to that officer i needed to apologize it doesn't matter what was on body worn camera i was unprofessional and for that i it, it hurts me that i did it can you stay over here ma'am you're this no, is a traffic this is a this is a legal traffic stop in addition to at least horrible. three other county and state investigations into what happened during this traffic stop sandra dorley has also referred the situation to the da in onondaga county to review as well you know so so at this point i know that Bill Fitzpatrick is working with the, the governor's office and members of the District Attorneys Association, and I'm going to leave it in their hands, and I'll fully cooperate with whatever, whatever they decide. I mean, is there still a possibility you could be arrested for what happened and charged with criminal charges beyond the ticket? Yeah, I, I, I welcome any investigation, and I will accept the consequences. We have been bringing you parts of that exclusive interview with District Attorney Sandra Dorley for the past 24 hours. Now, if you would like to watch the extended version... So I'll wrap it up there, guys. What's your opinion? Should the Minister of Men's Behaviour Change watch this? Bye for now.